And as part of the ongoing war against drug abuse amongst Nigerians, especially the youthful population, at the grassroots, the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, has hinted on plans to establish offices across the 774 local government areas across the country. Chairman of the agency, Buba Marwa, disclosed this at a function in Ilori, in the Kwara State Capital, while speaking on the efforts being put in place to further reduce drugs, supply and demand across the country. Indeed, the war against drug abuse has taken a new dimension globally. Emphasis is now being laid on drug demand reduction, where the most vulnerable group in the society, especially the youth and the younger generations, are now the main focus. Furthermore, our determination to open NDLA offices across all local government areas in Nigeria is another testimony of tackling the drug menace at the grassroots level. The idea is to put together stories that will serve as guide or reference point for those that are vulnerable to substance use and at the same time give hope to someone who uses drugs. That there is hope for treatment and recovery is possible. Other speakers at the function attributed the rising level of banditry and kidnapping to substance abuse, calling for stiffer penalties for drug barons in the society. We also need to strengthen our laws to make sure that those who are engaged in trafficking in drugs, the big drug barons, face serious consequences. Something tells me that if drugs kill as drugs are killing, I think it's important not to, to treat the barons with kid gloves. I think we need to make the laws also very draconian. And it has caused a lot of damage. The so-called kidnapping and banditry going on in Nigeria is, a, is as a result of too many drugs in the society on the land. We just have to make effort to curb it. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.